Welcome back to the live stream. I'm your host, Noelle Vacori. Joining me in the studio is Ed Nathanson, founder of Red Pill Talent. Ed, welcome. So exciting to rock with you. Ah, <laughs> I am so excited. So I know that this is probably all of our viewers' favorite part, if they had to pick one, is learning how exactly to rock their profile. So we're excited for you to take us through some of your best pro tips. You ready to rock? I am so ready to rock. Let's Are you ready to rock? <laughs> all right, let's do this. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Fair enough. All right, so we've got a number of people who sent in their profiles for this. And first up is Mitchell McNair. Welcome, out of Katie, Mitchell. Texas. And if you see here, immediately, an easy, low-hanging fruit to fix is no banner image. Mm. Now, with a banner image, it's actually funny. If you look at heat charts of how people look at LinkedIn profiles, yeah. your picture and your banner image are almost like red hot compared to anything really? else outside of your title. Okay. So with that, a good tip there is to find something that is telling your story. Mm. An example, if you ever look at my profile, I try to say I'm a dork. Yeah. I'm a speaker, I know what I'm talking about, and I'm a family guy. And there's a story I'm telling in that collage. Got it. Now, I did a collage. Whatever things matter to you, maybe it's your favorite place in the world, the landscape picture mm -hmm. of that, whatever those things are, that's really a good tip. I love Second, that. Second, real quick here, is your headline. Um, you're, you have Global Learning and Career Growth Consultant at Dow, and that's your job, and that's awesome. Mm -hmm. But I always say to people is, what can you add that makes you really stand out? What's your mantra? What's yeah. your just do it, right? You know, what is your thing, right? In a way. You know, yeah. and find what that is, what makes you special. Another quick little tip here on Mitchell's before we move on is your summary. So if you look at your summary, I'm having trouble opening it here, but if you go to your summary, you can see that there's no media and it reads like a resume. Okay. Okay. So with that, you know, your summary is your chance to really tell your story mm -hmm. and talk in your voice, mm. right? This is not an objective on a resume that yeah. people put out there. It's not listing that I'm great at PowerPoint or Word or whatever these things are. Yeah. Here's your chance to tell the world on your business page to the world, right. why you, why are you awesome? And having media in there, adding video, adding pictures, adding links to maybe articles you've appeared in, right. those things really make it pop. I have yeah. one question, yeah. actually, and I feel like this one comes up a lot, is like, do I speak in third person or not in my summary? What's yes. your take? Great question. No third person. <laughs> Never <laughs> third person. Loud and clear, yeah. Right. We are not dumb as an audience. Yeah. We know you don't have a press release writer <laughs> <laughs> writing this well, for some, you. Well, some, right. maybe not the average. <laughs> right. I hear that. The I hear average that. person does not. Yeah. So no, be approachable. Yep. You know, I always say to people, if you think about what you want to get out of your audience, mm -hmm. do you want to be approachable? If so, you can't talk formal and unapproachable. Right, right. I totally get that. And that's okay. where that authenticity comes through. Yeah. Excellent. All right, moving on, because I want to get to a lot of these as best I can. We have Travis Welcome Domer. Travis. Travis from Greater Atlanta. Love Hot it. Hot Atlanta. <laughs> All right. Now, with Travis here, you've got the banner image, which is great, okay? Yeah. But moving on here, the Talent Event Development, Development Executive on a Mission. That's mm -hmm. actually a pretty decent title. It's almost like a hybrid of what you were talking about. It's That's right. It's a little right. bit of a mantra. It feels mm -hmm. action-oriented, but it's also the job. Absolutely. So, so far, so good. Yeah. But now we hear the, the Price is Right losing horn. Dun, okay. Dun, 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 <laughs> as we get to the summary. And the summary here, again, is he's talking about why, but okay. no media. Mm. No media. And media is so critical. If you can't brag about yourself on your yeah. LinkedIn profile and talk about the amazing things you do and share your story, what you do, maybe things you've done, videos you've appeared in, yeah. videos you've made, yeah. those are missed opportunities. And let's say you're somebody who hasn't yep. been in front of a camera or something like that. Do you encourage people to create their own content or pull in content that's about their company or yeah. uh, their nonprofits that they're connected to or something like it's that? It's a great question. What I would say is, again, I'm going to put it back to the individual. Okay. What do you want to get out of it? Mm. Do you want people to, picture, to consider you a subject matter expert, a thought leader, uh, someone who's out there leading and knows their stuff? Or do yeah. you just want to be a brand ambassador for your company? Right. It's entirely up to you. But I always say, just like any marketer would think about is think about your audience. Right. What do you want them to think about you? Brand or be branded? Yeah. Right. What you put out is what you get back. I could throw more cliches, like give it 110 percent. But yeah. what I'm saying is, is that's what you need to think about. Got so it. if you think about your audience, what you want out there. So missed opportunity on any whatever you want to be. If you're a brand ambassador, put your company stuff in there. If you want to position yourself, right. talk about your articles, all those things. Fair enough. Now, one thing we didn't get to on the prior one was the actual experience. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the missed things that a lot of people don't know about their profile on experiences 
you can add media to your experience. Oh, interesting. Right, yeah. so video, same thing I just said in summary. You should, right. whether you're an ambassador or not, here's your chance to brag about what you do at your job. Yeah. Right. If you want to be found for a job, we like that as yeah. recruiters, <laughs> right? We want to see that. Yeah. And even here with Jackson Healthcare, and he's talking about SVP of Learning Development, nice. he's talking about the company mm. as his experience. No, you want to right. talk about you yeah. and what you do for the experience, mm -hmm. right? Here's your chance. Like, as someone who's been in recruiting world for 24 years, I know I don't look that old, thank you. <laughs> but one of the things that I would say to you is, is we don't like resumes where you can, you know, there's a difference between what I did and what my job is. Yeah. So as a salesperson, you can say, I sold to New England area for 10 years selling large enterprise solutions. Mm -hmm. Or I was President's Club three years in a row, top biller three years. That's, here is your chance to do that. Yeah. Talk about what you want to do. Excellent. Okay, let's move on. So Angel Wales, I love Angel. What yes, a beautiful Angel. name, right? Love yes, Angel. Uh huh. So Angel has a big patriotic American flag as a banner image. If that's what you want to put out there, awesome. God bless America. <laughs> I like the I like the back the profile picture. Good, but yes. again, now we here go to headline HR manager. <sighs> right? Yeah. Here's your chance. When people search, okay, on the platform, when recruiters search, when clients search, mm -hmm. this is the first thing they see outside of your picture. Right. So HR manager isn't clickbait. HR manager yeah. isn't click through. Yeah. Again, what do you want people to know about you? What's your secret sauce? Yeah. Own it. I always say, like I said, if you can't humble brag on LinkedIn, why are you on the platform? That's what we're there yeah. for. Yeah, and I think if you're uncomfortable with that, something that was helpful to me because I was in yeah. that bucket is I started to pay attention to what people would say to me. So they'd be like, you are like our biggest cheerleader or you act like a soccer yes. mom or you're an enthusiast. And I was like, wait, how can I use those words to build it in if I don't know that I'm necessarily comfortable drafting Absolutely. them myself? Absolutely. Yeah. Look, I'm a major dork. Mine is I help companies come to the good side of the force and join the Rebel I Alliance. I love it. Very on brand. Right? <laughs> Very, Very on brand. On brand. But that's, the brand is that. That's me. Yeah. You don't like it? Goodbye. If you like it, I love you. And we'll get along famously. Fair enough. Right. All right, next, in her about section here, no summary. Mm -hmm. So she's basically listing, she's part of SHRM. Awesome, SHRM's a great organization. Yeah. But here again is your chance. Why you? What do you do? Why are you passionate about what you do? What makes you different right. than every other HR manager out there? Again, real quickly here on her experience, she doesn't have anything except where she works. Mm -hmm. So one of the things people don't realize about LinkedIn is it's run as a Boolean engine. Mm -hmm. And it's keyword specific, it's skill specific. Yeah. So when people go out, and they're looking for an HR manager, if you don't say what you do with the keywords that people are searching on for that, you won't be found. Yeah. You know, one of the things I always like to tell people is you know, people don't look at the people also viewed side. It's a little hidden gem on yeah. LinkedIn that people don't really think about. Right. And it always, I say, tells you a story, mm -hmm. okay? So what I always say is if people are looking and they see HR managers at other companies mm -hmm. and your people also viewed or whatever your job is, Yeah. Recruiters are your audience. They're looking for people who are doing what you do other places. If they're looking at people who are at your company, mm -hmm. they're investigating your company. Yep. And it's a great pulse check. I always use it for myself personally to see, am I reaching the right people, yeah. the right audience? Yeah. So that's a good little tip for the and audience nice to think about. a little immediate focus group that I think most people really wouldn't tap into. No. I love that. Yeah, people don't think about that. Okay, moving on to Andres, I hope I pronounced this right, Mujica. I love uh, it. HR manager in Argentina at a company called Audient. Excellent. Now, he's got a nice skyline picture here. I love it. I'm assuming it's someplace in Argentina. I'm going to go to the profile photo for a second here. And while you're, it's, a, it's a good photo, it's a little busy mm -hmm. in the background. Okay. And there's, there's a lot of psychology behind pictures and what people think. Whether we like it or not, we're a judging species. Mm. We think about we make judgments, like when everyone saw me and how handsome I was, they're like, he's amazing. But maybe people think other things about other places. So here, not smiling is an indicator of I'm unapproachable. Mm -hmm. We instinctually think that, right? And again, busy, whatever he's in front of, I'd like to focus on him, the face. Not I want to know Andres, right? Yeah. So I would think is, again, if you don't want to be approached, don't smile. Mm -hmm. If you do, psychologically, we feel already just instinctually something to approach you there. Right. Okay, again, in the about section, oh, here we go. It's a little stuck here, so I'll move yeah. on. Um, again, with your headline, you have a chance to say something meaningful there. And likewise, here, in your experience at Audient, you're doing the same thing. You're 
telling us what the job is, not right. what you do, and why you're the best HR manager, yeah. right? And what you and why your people are rallying around you and the programs you've implemented. We want to know that. Real quickly here, I'd also say, if you go down to skills and endorsements, right. this is another hidden trick that people don't realize about LinkedIn. And I hope I'm not spilling your secret sauce. No, let's okay. do it. I love it. We want to be generous. <laughs> right. Skills is another way that you are found. And people yeah. don't realize that. Because you know, a few years ago, you were getting these endorsements and no one knew what to do with them and where. There. They're there. You need to use them. What you put is what you will be found for. It is absolutely part of the algorithm mm -hmm. that gets you there. So you might think people care about, I'm proficient in Excel. Well, if you want to be found for Excel, sure. Right. Right. But think about what you want to be found for. Beyond right. that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next is Isan Merck. And I clearly, he works at Coca-Cola. <laughs> so he is a brand <laughs> ambassador. So. He's right. a big fan. Right. Either that big or he fan. loves it. I'm a DC <laughs> fan myself. Diet Coke. All right. But you see here, big Coca-Cola. He's acting as a brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. Senior recruiter at the Coca-Cola company. Keynote. So one of the things here when I look at his, what he's talking about, he's using it to the effect that he wants. Yes. He's putting himself out as a subject matter expert. Yep. Um, he's even got the picture of him looking kind of stern a little bit, giving in a lecture action. in yeah. action, which is great. Okay, I like that. But then we get to here in his, in his again, in his about section, he's talking about what he loves. What he, that's great. Mm -hmm. No media. So you started really well on the top with the big Coca-Cola right. brand and you're talking about Coca-Cola and what you do in employer brand. Here is the chance to share it. Right. There's a little trick here. There's no limit to how much media you can put. I've tested that significantly yeah. over the years. If you look at mine, I have like 60 <laughs> right. This is the media in there. Absolutely. Chance. It's such yeah. an interesting reminder that there's, it sounds like you can't have enough media. You cannot. And you can do different right. formats. So whether it's that you're doing a slide share or it's a YouTube link, you can build in that variety that works best Absolutely. for you. Is that fair to Absolutely. say? Absolutely. And again, if you want to be a brand ambassador, you can link to your company careers page. Yes. You can link to, you know, whatever you want. It's yeah. all out there. You just have to pick it. Perfect. And again, here, missed opportunity in his experience. Okay. So we see all this awesome stuff in his headline about a speaker and keynote and all this stuff. Yeah. But here we just see he well, a talent acquisition manager for Turkey. Yeah. Talk about it. One of the things, again, with profiles is statistically, if you look at these heat charts, what they say is that people don't really go past your first two. Okay. You've got, you've got that opportunity with that audience there to captivate them, to say, why you? And to get super specific, yes. bullet points, paragraphs, where do you lean when it comes into the experience? So I lean okay. into talking like I write. Okay. Right? And so, again, if I'm a formal person, which clearly I'm not, but if I was a formal person, I would talk formally. Yeah. If I'm not, I talk the way I talk. Right. Right? I think people smell BS 100 miles away, mm. right? And people are afraid to be themselves on LinkedIn because they feel like I have to be buttoned up and this is business and no, no, no. No. If you yeah. look at the stuff that resonates, the content that resonates, yeah. it's the people who aren't doing that. Yes. That and stand out. It inspires out. other people to want to revisit their profile as well yes. and be more authentic. Yes. So you almost get to be a little bit of an influencer in the way Absolutely. when you do it. No, I'm not saying be like me. Right. But be you. Yes. Be absolutely. you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And I love that you did that because I think sometimes that's what we need when we're putting ourselves out there is a little bit of permission. Yes. Like permission to say I versus we, permission to like humble brag, permission to go out there to be a little bit creative and edgy sometimes. It's the place to play for it. A absolutely. I mean, this is your business billboard to the world. Yeah. I know I'm saying this to LinkedIn, so I'm <laughs> preaching to the choir, but- I always say, like, if you don't focus on this in the business world, what are you doing? Right. What are you doing? Where, this is where people go, whether you like it or not. Yeah. And if you can't act as your own billboard mm -hmm. to that world, what are we doing? Yeah. So I have a quick question yes. around how you start, because yeah. I'm somebody who would look at a blank sheet of paper or a blank LinkedIn profile and be like, where on earth am I going to begin? So yes. what would be your recommendation there to get to that place of creativity and authenticity? Okay. So you take a step back. And then you start to put down on a piece of paper, who do I want to come to me? Yeah. What do I want them to know about me? Okay. It's, I'm a list person, so you yeah. make lists, right? And what is my, what is my secret sauce? Mm. Why me? I love and that. And I start with that, mm -hmm. right? And then, it, just like any marketer, they, you know, if there's people who buy Mercedes versus Audi versus BMW. They right. know their audience, right? Right. Know your audience. That's fair. Who are you targeting? What do they care about? And what do I want them to know about me? Yeah, 
I love that. And I think the other thing that was a great pro tip for me is that your LinkedIn will always be in progress because yes. your career, your professional journey is always in progress as well. So I know when I first started my LinkedIn profile, I was like wildly overwhelmed about like everything has to be there and locked in and perfect and punchy. But the reality is you can continue to revisit it without like setting off alarms that new content has been updated. Uh, no fair? question. So just in your settings, if you're not familiar, you can turn off that piece about notifying every time you make changes, which yeah. I do. Um, but I, I personally go in once a week mm. just to make sure everything's where I want it to be, yeah. right? And it sounds the way I want it to sound and yeah. how it looks and what it is. And, you know, there's, it's very thought through. And, if right. you, and you should spend your time on your LinkedIn profile for that reason. Very good. The business world goes here. Yes, yes. it is. You got to mm -hmm. be found or you won't. Yes, yeah, I love that. Do we have any more that we can see? Yeah, absolutely. Let's so here's Santosh. Santosh, who's working on UX ahead of startup proposition. So, Excellent. Santosh, you have your banner image, awesome, mm -hmm. but you're, you're, you're being repetitive. Mm. Your, your picture, your profile picture, while good, smiling, clean background, yeah. you're doing the same thing. So it's wasted space. Yep. Right up there, I want to know more about you. I want to see more. Again, what's your favorite place in the world? Maybe you've spoken, whatever, landscapes, cityscapes. I want to see something up there that tells your story. You're, you're using the same space twice. Excellent. That's a great pro right. tip. Now, again, the headline, working on UX ahead startup proposition, that's very vague. Mm. Let's be honest. It's not, and maybe you want to be vague. Maybe yeah. that's your intent. But if not, I would think about tightening that up a bit, Okay. Again, here, if you look at the summary, it's a resume, right? And a lot of people are still stuck in, my LinkedIn profile is my resume, Yeah. right? And I don't necessarily agree with that. Right. There's the, the resume is your experience part, which is format. You have to stick to that. It's part of what it is. Definitely. But again, talk about what you did versus what you do. Right. But here is a chance to, again, why am I special? Why do I, why am I in UX? Do mm -hmm. I, why do I design what I do? Why do yeah. people respond to what I design? Right. And again, maybe show some of your designs here. Yeah. Right? Show some of your work. Let, let us see how awesome you are in UX. I love that. Yes. I love that. Okay. We have time for one more? Let's do it. All right. So Vitaly uh, in the Ukraine. Yes. Uh, skilled software test engineer, QA expert, game changer. Okay. I love that. So no banner image, mm -hmm. which right away, that's something easy, low-hanging fruit, fix it. There's a tool called Canva, free, has the specs yeah. set in. Okay. And again, look at the summary here. It's a, it's a resume. Now he's smart because he's using keywords that will have him be found. Right, right. But again, it's more than keywords. Why Vitaly? Why? Mm. Tell your story here. Yeah. This is your real estate to do it. Which could probably even just be a headline at the top. Yes. Right? That summarizes it to then pull it all in so he doesn't have to have Absolutely. all these paragraphs. Absolutely. Excellent. So as you think about what people can do next, yes. people are watching, they're wildly inspired yes. by these easy pro tips. What would be your final piece of, of advice so people can continue to rock their profiles? Right. Is I would treat it like, like a garden. Right. If you go to your garden and you water it once and then walk away, yeah. it'll get sun, but there will be no water and they'll die. Mm. It's just if story you want of my apartment. Right. Like, story of all the succulents <laughs> in my apartment. Heard, heard. But if you water it, it will grow and yeah. it will flourish and it will be beautiful. And maybe you can eat some cucumbers or tomatoes out of that garden in your next salad. Yeah. Right. So if you can't put the time to care for this and cultivate it like you would a garden if you were a gardener is just the best analogy I could think of, yeah. don't be on the site. And do it bit by bit. Do it bit can. by bit, Don't yes. feel like you have to eat the elephant at you once. You don't have to eat it bit at once. Bit. Keep putting some water on it. Yeah. Keep putting some things on there. And remember the tip, who viewed your profile will tell you who your audience is. I love that. Well, I know that I feel totally rocked out by this. Before we close, I have one more yes. question I have yes. to ask you. What is your number one song or artist to rock out okay. to in the so, spirit of rocking? Okay, so the Beastie Boys are my jam. <laughs> I might be aging myself here, but God bless the Beastie Boys. I love it. And my favorite, I'm gonna say jam, is an entire album by them called Paul's Boutique. Music nice. perfection. Nice. Okay, well, so we're going to have a dance party. Yes. And we're going to let the viewers get back to more right content. Right on. And thank you so much thank for being you. here. This was incredible. And stay tuned for more great content from Talent Connect 2019. Thanks for being here.